بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the first uh, thing we'll try to get into the osp of broadcast networks so let's let's see first the broadcast networks and what are the challenges now again when i said broadcast network means you need to understand that we'll be using some kind of a bma network which means there is a broadcast network which is provided by the service border but when we logically represent we just say that okay all these routers are connecting to each other so generally we say that these are all connecting to each other here so they all are connecting to the one one network one broadcast network where you have multi access means multiple devices connecting to one one backbone network and where there is a possibility of broadcast so which means when this router sends an update to this router so basically it will go to the switch network and that may get broadcasted to each and every router because here just like every router is a neighbor of every other router here so one of the problem with osp broadcast network is all your ethernet interfaces will be treated as broadcast networks so we assume all our my ethernet interfaces connecting here to a network backbone or the service for a backbone network so in the case of uh, bma networks we will face two different challenges now the first challenge is we have multiple adjacencies so which means when we configure the ospf on these routers and if i go and verify show ip ospf neighbor now this router will have multiple neighbors because they all connecting to one uh, centralized backbone network and which means every router is a neighbor of every other router just like if i take an example if i say there are four computers and i'm connecting these four computers to a centralized backbone switch so generally we say that even though physically there is no direct connection between these computers we we say that the computers are logically connected to each other so we can send and receive the information directly between them and of course there is a centralized backbone uh, switch which provides the connectivity so likewise here also the same thing the the router b is and is like directly connecting to each and every router and if you go and verify show ip osp of neighbor you should see the router b will be establishing neighbors neighborship with all these routers in the same broadcast domain and of course this also this is this assume it is a point to point link so i'm assuming this is my serial link here so we do have multiple adjacencies means every router will be a neighbor of every other router within the same broadcast domain and the second issue is because of this behavior there is a possibility of the lss the advertisements uh, will be multiplied like if you take an example here the router a sends an update to router b in this example now when the router a is sending an update to router b as b is establishing neighborship with every other router it is going to send out the neighborship or uh, send out the update to each and every other router like here let me draw and show you here so the router b receives an update now the b says i got an update i'm going to pass on this information to all my neighbors so here everyone is my neighbor because we all are on the same broadcast domain now once the router d receives now the router d says i got an update from the router b and my job is to update to each and every other router which means the router d says that okay i am going to pass on this update to every other router or every other neighbor and likewise the same thing the router c says i got an update i am going to pass on this information i got an update from b and d of course both sides so let's assume that uh, from the d it receives and then it says i am going to pass on this update to every other neighbor so again you can see the update is going to b again again the same process will repeat again so b will again says that okay i got a new update from c i'm going to update to d e f and like that that will create update uh, lsl loops so this is one kind of uh, issue in general you may face because of the different because every router is a neighbor of every other router means the problem is the lss will flood in your network especially in this broadcast now to overcome this anyway this will not occur of course but there is a solution for this now to overcome this challenge 
Now in OSPO broadcast networks, we have something like DR, PDR elections. Now DR stands for designated router and BDR stands for backup designated router. So we have something like DR and BDR mechanism, which is a loop prevention mechanism to, uh, to prevent those loops, what we discussed just now. So how it is going to do? So out of this broadcast network, like in this example, we have this fire routers, part of one BMA network, one broadcast network. Okay. So in this, the router, the, they will decide who will want any one router as a DR and BDR. So we'll see the process later. So let's assume in my network, we have router D is selected as a DR and the router E is BDR, the backup. Now this works something like this. So if you receive any updates, same like, just like if you take an example, um, I'm the trainer and we do have some participants, like you people are the participants here who are attending the sessions. So here in our case, I will become the DR. So if you have any update, normally we all are neighbors. We all know each other. We all uh, talk to each other. But at the same time, if there is any kind of update, probably what you are doing is we are not updating to everyone. So what, what you'll do is you'll just pass on this information to the DR, to the trainer here. And the trainer will take the responsibility, of course, to pass on this information to each and every other router. So which means all the information will go only via DR. So this way we can prevent the loops and there will be no exchange between other routers. Means you people, you are just neighbors, but you don't exchange any information in between you. Now the same rule applies here as well. So whenever any router receives an update, it will send the update to the DR, of course to BDR as well. And the DR will take up the responsibility of informing or sending this update back to every other router. So okay, BDR will not do anything. BDR is just an ideal device. So whenever the DR goes down, it will take up the role of the DR. So it is just like uh, the router. When you receive any update, you just pass on this information to DR and the BDR. And the DR will take the responsibility to pass on this to the remaining routers. So which means uh, the, the routers other than DR, BDR, we call them as DR others. So in this process, now the other and other routers, they only are neighbors and they don't exchange any updates directly. And if there is any exchange of the updates, it should go via DR. So this way, this is how uh, it will prevent the loops. So the DR BDR election occurs during the OSP of neighborship. Uh, in general, when you when we discussed the previous like the different states. So basically it occurs in between the two way and the start stage probably in between that process. So it will do that process at that point of time only if it identifies the network type as a broadcast network. And again, as I said, all the neighbor routers will form full adjacencies with DR and BDR only. So which means uh, the other router and the DR will form full adjacencies, full seven stages, but whereas the other and other will only go up to two-way stage, means they don't exchange. So there is no X start stage exchange state or loading stage or the full stage happens between these two routers because because basically the exchange only happens between the two neighbors uh, if if it is via dr so this is the process uh, it is going to elect so this is like automated process we can still uh, decide by changing the priority values we'll talk about that but let's say if the DR goes down. What if the DR goes down? Maybe due to some reason the router goes down or the interface goes down or some problem with the DR router. Now in that scenario, it will automatically select the other router. The backup will become the DR and any other router will become the DR and BDR and the same process happens. So if the DR fails, automatically the BDR becomes the DR and the new BDR will be elected automatically and the same process will go on uh, when it comes to the updates and other things.